Hello world, this is Mike with Newfound Past with this week's What Sold video. I have 25 items that sold on our main eBay account and we will jump right in. <clears throat> First up we have this Burton Varsity Jacket Dry Ride Nano Duracell Snowboard Coat Jacket. This was brand new as a men's small. Uh, this was just in a haul video maybe three weeks ago or so. We picked this up for about 15 bucks. And I listed this and it sold within a couple hours for full asking of $174.99 plus shipping. So that was a super nice, super fast sell. Yeah, super nice coat jacket. Check that out. The tags are here somewhere. Right there. Yeah, dry ride. The retail price of $220 on there. Yeah. Just super nice, you know, new attack stuff, no brainer. I've been getting a lot of it. If you haven't watched my haul videos, you're missing out because I've gotten a lot of new attacks, uh, coats, jackets, other stuff. Really nice stuff. <clears throat> Next up is rectal rectilinear uh, speakers. <clears throat> this is a pair of these. Uh, I had these for quite a long time. I bought these for literally five dollars for the pair. Uh, vintage speakers. You see, I had a little condition issues, and I took one of the faceplates off to show the speakers, tested them, everything worked fine. These were a Model 11. They're right here, see, the old school speakers. Uh, they were fine. Um, I only gave $5 for them, and I thought these would bring, when I bought them, up 100 to $125. That's what the comps indicated. But I had these for about a year and a half, and I'd have kept lowering the price, lowering the price, little by little by little. And uh, eventually they finally sold for uh, the $45, asking, you know, $45 is what I was asking right here. And uh, that's what they sold for. Uh, free pickup, local pickup. A couple of young guys bought them and I met them at the local train station. They picked them up and they were super, super happy with them. And I was glad to have them out of my storage because they were big, they were heavy, they were in the way. The profit margin was way less than I thought it would be, so I'm glad they're gone. I'll pass on those next time though. Next up, these Debbie Mum Jolly Snowman Sakura Stoneware Mugs, set of four, brand new. I think I gave about $7.50 for the set or so. I uh, bought several things at the same time of this Debbie Mum stuff. And um, yeah, these sold for full asking of $59.99 plus shipping. And they sold on January 18th. Yes, Christmas mugs, January 18th. Love Christmas stuff all year long. This Debbie, this Debbie mom stuff can be long tail. Um, this one took just a month, month and a half to sell, but it can go longer than that. But it's definitely worth picking up and there's money in it. Next up, these mid-century modern uh, stoneware speckle mugs. Um, there was no name brand on these, but uh, we only paid like two bucks for all of these, like 50 cents a piece. And they just had that sticker on them. Dishwasher safe, Japan. The Japan was an indicator that they're good quality. So we went ahead and picked them up even though there was no name brand. And really cool design, kind of an Irish uh, mug type design. We had these listed for $39.59 and we took a best offer of $30 plus shipping on those. So pretty good sell overall. Next up, this Dremel Solid State Speed, speed Control Unit. Uh, paid like $5 for this. At our local thrift store, had it listed for $52.79 plus shipping, and that's exactly what it sold for, full asking. This did work. I tested it, plugged it in, everything worked fine, and the buyer was super happy with this. Next up, the Focke Knob shirts. Um, haven't been buying Focke Knob. Of course, I've laid off all the bread and butter stuff. If you watch my haul videos, you know that, uh, being super picky. Uh, you can make money off these, but be aware that your, the profit margin isn't that great and they will take a while to sell. <clears throat> but this was a lot of four extra large, different designs. Um, bad lighting, bad picture, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, these took a while to sell. A uh, lot them up. I only had about $5 each into these, so about $20 total into these. And uh, had them listed for $79.19 and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. So all in all, I only made about 15 bucks off of these. Hence why I'm not buying them anymore. 
Next up, a Tilly hat, a Safari and Durables cap hat. This had the long bill on it with a neck cover. Is a medium <clears throat> size, six and seven eighths to seven and an eighth. Picked this up for about five bucks, uh, not too long ago, a month or two ago. Really, Tilly is a super nice hat. I have I own one of the not one of this design exactly, but I own a Tilly hat myself, a big brim like hat, and they are super super high quality lifetime guarantee uh, like i said picked this up for about five bucks and asking 59 dollars 39 plus shipping and that's exactly what it sold for full asking and if i remember correctly this went global shipping program as well next up this bopping heads little nikki halloween bobblehead 2001 by adam's apple uh picked this up for about five dollars or so and this was uh, this did have its box uh, but we couldn't guarantee it was new. It looked like somebody had bought it, maybe set it on a shelf, had it for a while. So we went ahead and listed it as used, even though it was in good condition. And this took a few months to sell, but uh, I was asking $32.66 cents, cents for this, and we took a best offer of $23 plus shipping. Next up, this National Gallery of Art. Oh, did you see that? There's a typo on this one. I've talked about this before. That M A K R is supposed to be Mark M A R K. So, whoops. <laughs> Mark Rothko coffee mug. Um, paid our normal fifty seventy five cents for this. Had it listed for twenty three ninety nine. Took a best offer of fifteen dollars plus shipping. Next up is Burberry, hundred <clears throat> percent wool uh, coat jacket whatever. Pictures could be better on this. I should have steamed the bottom part better. See, the top part looks really good. But this is a good lesson in picture taking. This is awful. Do not do this. Um, I should retake the pictures on this and relist it. Uh, had this listed for $149.99 and took a best offer of $120 plus shipping. And this got returned. The person did not like the color of it when they got it. And I've already gotten it back. You know, it is what it is. It happens with clothing sometimes. So... It's already relisted, and I'm probably going to take this and uh, steam it up and retake the pictures. Next up is uh, Andrew Mark, New York leather coat jacket. Uh, this was brand new with the tags. I picked this up for $15 at our local thrift store. And there's the tags, brand new. This thing was super soft, super plush leather. It had the quilted lining. Really, really nice uh, leather jacket. Had this listed for $161 plus shipping and took a best offer of $125. Uh, and they paid for shipping. So really, really nice sell. And this only took a week or so to sell. So yeah, it's a really, really nice big flip. Next up, this Floatron orange heater and fan. Uh, 1500 watts, tested, worked great. I'd sometimes have it plugged in down here, just warm my hands up when it was cold. Um, paid, uh, I want to say we were paid three fifty for this or so $4 and this took quite a while to sell, uh, asked 32 99 plus shipping. And that's what happened. It sold for full asking of 32 99 plus shipping. Next up is a winking lizard tavern, uh, out of Cleveland, Ohio, blue denim button up shirt, brand new with the tags, gave $5 for this. Uh, had this listed for $36.80 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for, full asking. Pretty cool little local shirt, local tavern in Cleveland, Ohio. Had this for a few months, but uh, really happy with the uh, results on that one. Next up, this Woolrich Wool Blanket Lined Barn Coat. Had this, uh, we paid, we usually we only paid like $10, $12.50 for this at the most. And uh, we was asking ninety nine eighty nine for this, and we took a best offer of seventy five dollars plus shipping. What made this unique was the uh, that blanket lining right there. That's what it's a wool blanket lined with the leather collar. Yeah, so it was really really nice jacket. There's the uh, there's a large, and you can see right there is eighty five percent wool. So yeah. Pretty, pretty nice little jacket. So keep your eye out for those uh, Woolrich barn coats. Next up, these next three items are a lot deal. I uh, had the same 
guy um, wanted to do a package deal. You know, obviously combined shipping, which of course is no problem. So he he get picked up this uh, this Notre Dame hat, and we had this listed at twenty three ninety nine, and he paid fifteen dollars. And this was brand new with the tags, and we you know we had about four or five dollars into that. And he also picked up these Levi's five fifties, brand new with the tags, and he gave thirty five dollars for those, and this Reebok. Uh, jacket hoodie full zip and it was a 4xl brand new with the tags and had it listed for 65 18 and he gave 37 dollars for it so significant discounts but you know and he paid for shipping a uh, total of 65 75 about 80 bucks for everything plus shipping so yeah probably discounted a little bit too much on those three items but um, they are sold made good money on them like I said the hat only had about five dollars in the jeans, probably ten bucks into them, and the uh, jacket probably another five dollars or seven fifty on that one as well. Next up, this Ralph Lauren corduroy pheasant logo shirt. Uh, don't really find these that often, and probably should have marked this a little bit higher. Uh, this was a large, and you know I call it a shirt jacket because it is a, kind of that tweener. It's a heavy duty shirt, or it could be a light jacket. Um, yeah, with the older style Ralph Lauren polo tag and there's the pheasant. So yeah, we probably gave it, we gave about $5 for this. So, uh, asking thirty four ninety eight plus shipping and that's what it sold for full asking. Next, next up this Wasterbach, uh, pet food dish. You could use it for food, water, whatever. It's really neat. I, I pick up this Wasterbach stuff all the time, whether it's mugs or pet cat dishes or whatever. And it can take a while to sell, but it does sell eventually. Did take an offer on this one. Had it listed for thirty-two ninety-nine. <clears throat> Took a best offer of twenty dollars with free shipping, or not with free shipping. I'm sorry, with calculated shipping. They paid for shipping. This stuff is really high quality stuff, and this was like brand new. Uh, didn't have any tags or boxes, so we had to list it as used. Next up, this Blue Air Blue Pure air purifier i got this at salvation army uh paid ten dollars for this and this was brand new uh brand new in the box box had a little bit of shelf wear but not bad but uh yeah really really nice had the interior bag right there you see that bag and there's the air purifier uh, like i said I gave 10 bucks for this and asking 79 dollars 98 cents plus shipping and that's what it sold for a full asking 80 dollars plus shipping Super flip. Next up, this Ohio State University Buckeyes scrapbook, brand new. We gave a dollar for this at a charity thrift, and had it listed for thirty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. And we took a best offer of nineteen dollars plus shipping on the scrapbook. Next up is a Boeing. Chinook helicopter black polo extra large brand new uh gave like five dollars for this as as usual had it listed for 39.59 plus shipping and we took a best offer of 35 dollars plus shipping a yeah, pretty cool shirt uh you know has a boeing label on it boeing brand this may may have came out of a gift shop somewhere i don't know but there's the uh, tag the boeing embroidery and the chinook the ch 47 f helicopter logo pretty cool shirt next up uh this mastermind your way to millions how to become an information how to become an information that's weird oh how to become an information multimillionaire I probably ran out of room on the title uh this was cassettes actually uh picked this up for just a dollar or two you know because no this stuff doesn't sell in the thrift store but some of this stuff can be valuable especially on cd you know these these these, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna call them schemes or whatever, but these marketing ploys, all this stuff, how do you make, get rich, all this stuff. Uh, there's money to be made in it. People buy, buy it all the time. Had this listed for a, a more fair price, 30 or $40, but it just was never selling. And I had this for a couple of years. You can tell by the background. And finally, when I was doing my reorg and inventorying everything, I was like, you know what? Just reduce that to 10 bucks plus shipping. And it sold almost immediately when I lowered the price to that. And, 
as everyone who watches me knows, I'm careful with my shipping. You can go and look at my feedback right now. My eBay accounts are listed in the description of the video. Go look at my feedback. I ship things carefully, you know, because that's the way to avoid returns. And this guy left a feedback just ripping me on the shipping on, you know, it was, the item was destroyed, blah, blah, blah. Of course I offered to give him his money back, but he's like, no, I want the cassettes. I want, you know, I want to keep it, but just be careful next time. I'm like, <laughs> you serious guy? <laughs> Oh, there's all the kinds of those people out there like that, isn't there? Uh, over, it's always over a sub ten dollar item as well. I have talked to other YouTubers and other you know people in my chats all the time, and when they get negative feedback, it's usually on something that's cheap, sub ten dollars. People get attitudes over cheap stuff more than anything, and I sell expensive stuff all the time, and I have more trouble with this kind of stuff than that kind of than more expensive stuff. But anyway. Next up, this Polish pottery. I'm not even going to try to say that word. It's a utensil holder. Uh, called it, you know, used all the keywords: utensil, jar holder, crock. Uh, pick, I picked this up at Goodwill. And usually, my wife picks the pottery, but I I picked this one up and paid just a couple dollars for this, asking thirty nine ninety eight plus shipping, and that's exactly what it sold for. Full asking. Really, really nice. Let me show you the label on the bottom here. Yeah, really, really nice piece of pottery. So keep your eye out for those, and I'm sure there's more out there. Last item, uh, Pan Am Airlines Boston Hub. And this is a cup mug. You know, I said vintage ceramic cover. It didn't have a handle, so it's not a, like a coffee cup or mug. It's more likely to be like a pen holder or pencil holder or something. But it was ceramic, and it had just the USA stamp on it with all the Pan Am stuff, like all the Pan Am, Pan Am hubs pretty neat and a uh, small story on this one we got this when we went to we went to North Carolina for a friend's wedding and we of course you know in between when we had downtime we went to some thrift stores and we went to this old janky flea market like just you know dirt one of those dirty just janky-ish flea markets and this guy had a a shelf sitting on his front porch but not even going into a shop yet but on the front porch with a bunch of just dirty nasty junk on it and of course we looked through it real quick and this was on it this little mug here and we it was dirty but i picked you know no prices anywhere but i picked it up and took it in and i said oh how much you want for this guy out here he's like keep it he's like you can have it <laughs> so we picked up a few other things you know bought some stuff and then got this and it took a few months to sell but i got it all cleaned up and it turned out really nice and from free uh, asking thirty four sixty four plus shipping, and that's exactly what it sold for. Free to th almost thirty five dollars plus shipping, so that was really nice profit margin on that one. No cost of goods sold. But that is all, guys. That is twenty five items that sold on eBay. Uh, thanks to all of our new subscribers, our patrons, uh, everyone that has super chats. You guys are awesome. You guys are uh, keep me motivated to keep on going. Um, so yeah. This will be live tonight. I'm filming this or recording this on a Wednesday and it'll be live tonight for patrons, uh, tomorrow for, uh, the public on YouTube. And we will see you guys this Friday with a live video.